Good day, kids. How are you today? Welcome to our science subject. I know you're all excited to learn new things. Before that, let's see our objectives. So at the end of this lesson, you are expected to first, identify the different kinds of forces. And second, explain the effects of force when applied to an object. Kids, you are also expected to submit your output. As you can see, the slide shows the format of your answer sheet where you will write your answers on every activity that we're going to have. So get your pen and paper. I'm giving you five minutes to copy this. You may start writing now.
first activity, we're going to answer a five-item test. Don't worry if you don't know the answer. This is just a way for me to check your prior knowledge about the lesson. I'm giving you one minute to answer each question. In this activity, we're just going to write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. You may start answering now.
for today's lesson. Different objects move because of force. They move by means of electricity. One example of this is the propeller of an electric fan that moves because of electricity. Next is gravity. This is the force that attracts toward the center of the earth. That's why everything falls down like this fruit of a tree. Magnet. I know that all of us have seen magnets. These can cause objects to move but only special metals. Water like this in the picture. Wind, which is the flow of gases on a large scale that can make things move like in the picture. Then people. Are you familiar with this game? Correct. This is called tug of war. In this game, two teams pull on opposite ends of a rope. So there is motion because of the force exerted by people. This time, we're going to answer activity number two. So in this activity, you are just going to write whether they are moved by means of electricity, gravity, magnet, water, wind, or people. Just write your answers on your answer sheet. You have five minutes to answer this activity. You may start answering now.
Now, kids, let us learn more about force. Can you see the application of force in this picture? Good job! Whenever an object moves or stops, force has something to do with it. You can feel it, but you cannot see it. It is a form of energy put on an object or released by an object, bringing about a physical action or inaction. Force is a push or pull applied to an object. There are so many things around us where a push or a pull can be observed. Examples When riding a bicycle, you need to push on the pedals to get it going, and you pull on the brakes to make it stop. Have you experienced this? A push is when you move objects away from you like when using a grocery cart. You push it to go around the store easily. A pull is when you bring an object towards you. In the game Tag of War or Hilahang Lutid, the force put forth by both groups on each side of the rope is a pull. Whenever there is a push or a pull, force is involved. There are two types of force. The contact force and non-contact force. One example of contact force is friction. It is a force that opposes or counteracts. Example of this is the rough road. Roads are rough to slow down vehicles and prevent accidents from happening. Imagine if the roads were smooth there will be a very little resistance and it could cause vehicular accidents like collision. Feel the undersoles of your rubber shoes. They have bumpy surfaces to prevent you from sliding when running. That is why you wear them during your physical education activities and not your leather shoes. Another example of contact force is the wind. Wind is a moving air. You can feel the force of the wind against your body, especially when it is strong. It can make the leaves of the trees sway and fall, and even uproot trees during strong typhoons. Let's go to non-contact force. An example of this is the gravitational force. It is a common example of non-contact force because notice that no matter how high you throw a ball up in the air, it always falls back to the ground. Everything is pulled by gravity towards the center of the earth. Why do you think are we not being thrown out in a space when the earth is continuously spinning at great speed around its axis? It's because earth's gravity is keeping us firm and steady on the ground. Another non-contact force is the magnetism. Magnetic force only attracts iron and steel. I know that you learned a lot from our discussion, so we are now ready to answer activity number 3. In this activity, observe the illustrations below.
and state whether they show a push or a pull. Just write your answers on your answer sheet. You have five minutes to answer this activity.
more activities are waiting for you. In activity number four, identify whether the force exerted on an object is a push or a pull. Write your answers in your answer sheet. You may start answering now.
the last activity of this lesson, identify if the type of force illustrated is a push, friction, magnetic, or gravitational. Again, write your answers on your answer sheet. You have five minutes to answer this activity.
Congratulations, kids! You made it! Please take a photo of your answer sheet and send it personally to your science teacher through FB Messenger. Thank you for watching!